Okay, guys, we are back at it again. I know I said that yesterday. I know you're super excited. So we are going to work through one of your homework problems again. So sum, signs. We see our sum has to be this middle term. That's a nine. Our signs, this tells us they're going to be different. This tells me the bigger number is going to be positive. So we're going to go through this. We have parts of our factors of 5, which is 1 and 5. We have factors of 18, which is 1 and 18. We just did this, it feels like, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. Okay, again, normally we say the bigger number is negative, but since 5 is so big, it could create a bigger number when multiplied. Um, so we just want to make sure that we're counting for all of them. So we could potentially have negative, you know, our bigger number is positive. So negative 3, negative 1, negative 2. Let's try that out, and we know that we have three other options if those don't work. So let's go and start with 1 and 18. Negative 1 and 18. We know 5 and 18 would be too big. It's not going to create something. So we can do 1 and 18. Well, 1 and 18 is 18. 5 and 1 is negative 5. That gives me a positive 13. I know that one's not going to work. Our next one up is negative 3 and 6. Well, 6 and 5 would make 30. That's really big. It's not going to get me close to 9, but the other option might. So here we have 1 and 6, which is 6. 5 and negative 3 is negative 15. This gives me a negative 9. So here we see that this gives me a negative 9. So originally I ruled out the options, the other ones being negative or writing them all out. But since that one is going to be a negative 9, that means if I would have used 3 and negative 6, it should get me the one I want because that just looks the sign if I split the... Position. So we're going to try that one next. So I'm going to cross this one out. Okay, and that means I can now try our reverse of 3 and negative 6. So we have 1 times negative 6, which is negative 6. 3 times 5 is 15. And this gets me that positive 9. So yay! So we can write these again, 1x, 5x. You can eliminate the ones that don't have that, 1 and 5 in our beginning. But we know that that eliminates b, and it eliminates c. They each have 2n, and that's not going to do us anything. It's the same idea with x's and n's. I will rewrite them as n's so that way we're being careful. Okay. And then we see that the 1 is conjoined with the negative 6. That means they can't be in the same parenthesis. The 3 is conjoined with 5. That means they can't be in the same parenthesis. We end up with 1n plus 3 times 5n minus 6. And that would be A. Thanks again, guys. Let me know if you have more questions.